I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we're gonna do something fun for Valentine's Day we're gonna make this simple white chocolate Cupid Valentine bark and it's so much fun get your kids involved you can whip this together the night before Valentine's if you need to take a, a fun treat along for school or church or just to the office for your friends and co-workers so this is so much fun and cuteness. It's just like cuteness overload. So let's go see how this all comes together. All right, we're gonna get started making this Cupid Valentine bark and you know, this is super simple, but it's a great little treat that you can make in a quick amount of time and you can wrap it up and give it as gifts to friends, co-workers, family, or if you're allowed to take homemade treats to school or Sunday school, this would be a fun thing to do. So what we're going to start off with is I have four cups of white chocolate chips and then I have a cup each of red candy melts and pink candy melts. You can also use uh, almond bark, the white almond bark if you like. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and melt these. I'm also gonna melt the candy melts. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of coconut oil and I'm gonna heat this up on 30 second bursts and stir it in between until it is smooth and creamy and I'll be back when all of that is finished. Okay, we've melted all of our chocolate and I have a baking sheet here that is lined with nonstick aluminum foil and I sprayed it with coconut oil spray. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot my white chocolate and then you can just spread it out. Now I have some red candy melts and I'm just gonna kind of... There's no science to this, just get it on there. Some but don't like plop it all in one spot make sure it's like evenly distributed okay we're gonna do the same thing with the pink candy melts now we have all of our chocolate in there what I'm gonna do is tap it on the counter can you see a difference now it's very smooth on the surface it's not lumpy and now I'm gonna take just a coffee stir stick that evidently is broken on that one end and I'm just gonna swirl this. This is not necessary because we already have a lot going on here, but it's gonna look so cool. Now do it that way, then do it this way. And that's it. You can swirl to your heart's desire, but remember the more you swirl, the more you muddy. Okay, now, this is where the fun comes in. We're gonna put these really cute little fluffy pink marshmallows in our Cupid Valentine bark and this there's no rhyme or reason here you can just toss them on get your kids in the kitchen with you making this and they're gonna have a blast this is so fun it's an awesome tactile experience now I have some six slits and some little candy hearts and I'm just gonna kind of toss these with a little bit of force behind it so that they embed kind of in the bark itself because we can we're gonna give it some sparkle and some sprinkle. I've got some red and white candy sugar here and this is mixed in with some little red and white pearls and some X's and O's. So you sprinkle away to your heart's desire. And that's it. Now you're gonna let this cool and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna break it up and we'll show you what it looks like and we'll get it ready for gift giving. Well, this was in the refrigerator for about an hour and now it's ready to be broken up and we're gonna just break it up. And then you, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna deco decorate it. We're gonna put it in some pretty um, packaging. When you break it up and there's marshmallows, you wanna make sure that you have it, see how that one's stuck there, but that's okay. It's all good. Not every piece is gonna have a marshmallow on it. Um, and you may have to pull away at some of them. So don't worry, it's gonna be fine like that. It's, it's all good. All right, there you have it. Beautiful Cupid Valentine bark. This was so easy to put together. We just broke it up and now I have 
put it in some containers and some cupcake liners. If you're going to do this for a uh, children's treat, you could put this in a cupcake liner and then you could put it in a separate cellophane bag or you can just get some little decorated sandwich bags. They do have those that have a little zip top on them. Put a couple pieces in there and you can take it to school or church or if you're allowed to take homemade treats. I found these containers, they came as a full setup. They came with the, can the little cardboard um, boat along with a plastic bag wrap and the the twine and the little card to go with it. I got those at Walmart and they came in a package of um, six I think and it was like $1.97 super inexpensive and they look really really cute um, and then this is what it looks like all packaged up but without uh, without the bag so yeah that's that's just a lot of fun and it's really easy and you can do this the night before and it's not going to be a big deal you just melt that chocolate and then stick it in the fridge after you've got it all decorated up and don't let my suggestions for the sprinkles just be where it ends you can do whatever you like you don't have to do the heart-shaped marshmallows and the six lids you can do whatever you want I just thought they were really cute and I wanted this to look festive and I'm also kind of inspired by that unicorn bark that's going all over the internet so I kind of wanted to take it to the next level for Valentine's Day and that's why we're calling it Cupid bark but it's got all those beautiful little sprinkles and you know people just love those so that's how you make it. It's super easy and it's going to be a tasty treat and people are going to love it. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video all about how to make Cupid Valentine bark. And if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you are, hit the bell button so you don't miss the notifications that will come from YouTube every time we upload a video because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food, for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this Cupid's Valentine Bark a try and I hope that you love it. And until next time, happy Valentine's Day.